my own personal shout out to each of you mentees uh, for doing this in addition to your uh, normal classwork. It's a lot of extra time, you guys did it, so awesome job there. Um, little did I know, coming into this program for the first time, I was going to get such an awesome mentee, Kate, who is very driven and very passionate about STEM. So that was really an honor to get to work with her. Uh, we decided to design a Hangman game using JavaScript. Um, and as a couple of you guys have noticed, um, you keep saying uh, it doesn't look like a lot of code, but a lot of work goes into that. So we went through some trial and error. Um, and with, with no further um, words, I'll let it take it over to Kate. My mentor was, oh, as you see, Cher, Cher said, sorry, I have three bedrooms. Um, and she, and so she got a bachelor's, a bachelor's degree at St. Edward's University and, um, um, and also went to UT um, boot camp for coding. So, and she's, curr she's currently an implement implementation specialist at Trilogy Education Services and she enjoys traveling, VR meetups, and Java, um, Java trip cappuccinos. So. <laughs> so our project goal was to make uh, a prop. To make, at first I wanted to make, um, I wanted, for my project I wanted to make something that implemented my pas uh, a passion that I had for music and dance. Uh, it, would, it would be very hard seeing as those two are very physical, uh, not the music, but the dance is very physical and um, it's really hard to cope, something like that. So we decided to design a hangman game, hangman game that um, would that would show my favorite groups and solo artists that I had that I have currently. So part of the process was to do um, pseudo code, which is sort of like the outline that we sort of like like an outline of everything we're going to do. So like um, show like have a pop up box that shows um, like. Guess the guess a single letter and then go on to showing the letter and it's very complicated. Oh. So here we have some screenshots of um, of our some of our code. So we have our wor our words array, which is this, which is just um, a bunch of like it's sort of like it's mm, like a it's like a container that keeps every all of the words that I have in, for variables, um, and we also we had we used a lot of while loops, which is like while this was running, this also has to happen. And we had while we were coding, we realized we had a bug. So um, what would happen is that I would you would guess a letter, and then it would instantly show the it would instantly fill up all the little spaces with the same letter, and it. Um, and then it would just instantly give the answer, which is really not the pur purpose of the game. You had to guess. So, um, and we realized that it was because of um, because of, of the um, equal signs. So, and that's the gif of what happens. What's supposed to happen? And yeah, it's my project. 